What a read. Get ready, we're about to move. There's a lot of crazy little jump spots. 76% of y'all ain't even subscribed yet, so hit that sub button because there's going to be new videos out every single day. Yo, it's your boy Shots coming at you with another Mon Warfare Trips and Tick video. Today I'm going over Hackney Yard and the secret jump spots that a lot of pros I've seen have been using on Hardpoint to get just crazy free kills. Like doing these little jump spots will give you free kills because you're gonna usually be above the enemies which is very cliche like kind of fortnite-ish of the high ground but there's a lot of crazy little jump spots so the first little spot is this blue van you can jump on this and then you can jump from there to here you don't want to ever use these there's no real reason to use that it's just very annoying to use those and you can jump here once you hear, this is the second little nasty spot. You can heady this and watch top L. That's what the pros call this window, top L. And also you could crawl down here and watch bottom L. When those doors are open, this is a nasty little angle. And a hard point spawns here. So in hard point, you can shoot people off the point if they're laying behind these. It's the second hard point in the lobby. Now let's go to this little jump up spot. This is one of the spots that almost no one knows about. You jump on this box and then you strafe jump to this one. It is really hard. I still have to get used to it. But you strafe jump to here and then you strafe jump up here. And then you could kill anyone that's here or on this little box study. A lot of people play that box study, especially in hard point. The hard point is down in this lower building. This is how pros break it. They'd use that jump spot. They get in here, kill whoever's up top, and then they break this hill by just coming down the stairs. It is a very easy way to break the hill. Also, you have this little jump up to jump through this window. That's really common. Everyone pretty much knows that one. Also, this is a little cheeky jump spot that not a lot of people utilize. If you just jump on this little thing, not many people know this, but you can see all mid-map just from that heady, and it's actually disgusting for getting free kills. So the next one is this cop car. You can use it to jump all the way up here. It's just a faster way to get up top without having to go all the way through and going up the stairs. I'd say a pretty decent amount of people know this spot, but not a lot of people do. I'm pretty sure you have to be double spring to get this jump, and you have to be holding down X the whole time to grab, and then you're up here. Another way to get up there is climbing this forklift. It sometimes is a little glitchy on jumping up it, but once you get jumped up on it, you can just double sprint to there. It's semi-difficult to make it in. I think you have to strafe jump, but once you're in, it's, a, it's one of the best ways to break this, this, is it third hill or fourth hill? It's the best way to break this down low bottom green hill in hard point. Because most people are going to think if you're spawning this, like if you're spawning back here, they think they have top control just because the only way you can get up there is being in this hard point and going up the stairs or climbing up from behind them. But they're going to be spawning back here. They're going to be like, there's no way he can get up into top green from here but they don't think about the forklift and then once you get it up in the forklift and break their their hill there's really nothing you can do you just slide down the stairs and smoke everybody this next jump is absolutely crazy it'll save you some time as well most people they go up this ladder and then they peek here most of the time people are going to be pre-aiming this left side of the window that you're on because everyone knows that this is where the ladder is but if you want to mess up someone ads in here you can jump on this little yellow thing and then you could sprint jump all the way up here and now you're peeking from a different side they're not expecting you from and if you think someone's on the p1 hill you just free them. and they're not going to be aiming see if this is what they're going to be looking at if they're on this p1 hill they're going to be looking here and if you come from there, you, you're going to kill them. If you're already expecting it, like they're going to be aiming here. But you're going to come here and just smoke them off the hill. This map has so many crazy spots to get through. You can jump up here, do a strafe jump up here, and then this is how you can break blue. If you get in here early and you get up here and there's someone already in the back, they're obviously going to come to this hard point and you can just kill them while they come up here. Also, it's a fast way to get in that window. 
There's a little cheeky spot here. Where you can jump on this trash can. You can corner camp here if someone's trying to push you. Or you can jump chow this little section where a lot of people tend to be coming through. Like this jump shot is just disgusting. You're like 20 feet up in the air. And then you can jump on top of this. And this is just a... If you lay down, stop yourself from getting seen mid-map. You can see that little hop up. Or you can look through these pillars. I have a spot where I almost see no one use, but I think it's pretty decent if you have full map control of this right side and your teammates are probably watching this window on P2. You want to jump here? It's a nasty head glitch. If you crouch here, you can. no one's killing you. I've killed someone running from here. You can see their heads. And you kill them from there. If they try to run in from here, you can just shoot their heads off too. Obviously, this is just... A disgusting head glitch. And it's one of actually one of my favorite spots getting kills in. Also, last but not least, this heady, you can crouch to the side of it and use it to p crouch peek P3 and no one expects this. You just laser beam them off the point using this little jump up. So basically, I got this video idea from Shotzi. He was going around how pros move around this map. And there is some crazy jump spots that will just give you the upper hand in so many important gunfights on this map. Especially in competitive hardpoint, it can just make your pathing way better. It can make you shoot people that are literally down below you shooting them like ants, bro. Like, you're just going to get so many free kills. I'm going to show y'all gameplay from me using these in the hacking yard hardpoint where I go 37 and 11. But I, it was in competitive play. 37 and 11, that's like a 3.0 plus KD in competitive. This video is absolutely disgusting. I hope you enjoy it. Let's get into the gameplay. Hard point. Capture and defend the hard point. When it moves, you follow. Hard point identified. Secure the ah! We've taken the hard point. No way I lost that. I could probably flip. Teammate, what the fuck are you doing? Hardpoint contested. Hardpoint contested. Fuck was that? Stand by to move. What the fuck? That dude's so trash. What a read. Okay, get to the hard point. We've taken the hard Enemies taken the hard point. No. This is our fight. Stay focused. <laughs> Next hard point, let's go. Uh. 
Oh my. I was going crazy. What the fuck? The enemy took the hard point. And we didn't even get spawned. What the? Fuck? I don't know why I thought he was down low. He clearly showed on me. Never die. Hard point no, he spawned right there. Holy We've taken shit. the hard point. <laughs> Enemy's taken the hard point. I thought that was the first one. Like. Wait, well, these timings, bro. I don't know why I didn't go up top with the box. The hard point. Next hard point, That's what I meant go. to do. I'm trying to get in play, the next one. 